Blitz wants to be a good dad so badly he's failing at it. Blitz is trauma incarnate, and it shouldn't have surprised anyone that the man had daddy issues. Blitz struggles with how to handle his adopted daughter Luna. There's so many weird dysfunctional layers to their dynamic. From Blitz desperately looking for someone to love him, to Luna's age and aversion just being vulnerable, the physical abuse, and everything else in between. They appreciate each other for what they're trying to do, but good intentions don't equal good results. So to play devil's advocate and watch my comment section implode, I figured now is as good a time as any to analyze the mess that is Luna and Blitz's relationship, as they both have issues, and I want to talk about them. Because I'm a drama whore who hates reality TV, so I became a YouTuber instead. Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you! And that should mean something! Now Blitz is an emotional train wreck pretending to be a parent, with his barely functional adult life being a product of a childhood that would be considered less than ideal. From what we've seen, Blitz grew up performing at his father's circus. Rather than getting an early start on his resume, he was being exploited by his father, who was a piece of shit. As Cash Buckso, actual name, lived up to that name by being a money-obsessed dick, who would sell his son's best friend for the right amount and give away Blitz for almost nothing. Forcing his son to rob Stolz's house when he was being paid to spend the day with the outlet may have been slavery, but we don't know the full terms of that contract. It's all kinds of messed up, but it's one of those situations where it only gets worse the more you think about it. First off, Cash, terrible father, emotionally blackmails his son into stealing from Stolas, a situation that the tiny Blitz knows is wrong and is already very aware of the fact that if he is caught, bad things are gonna happen. This is a situation that Cash forced his son into with almost no real concern for his well-being. He sees his son less as a person and more like a tool that he can use to enrich himself, was willing to sell Fizz for the right price. And this all just makes it very clear that Cash's parenting style is based around conditional love. Cash will play nice and pretend to love you, but in order to earn that affection, Blitz has to fulfill certain conditions. He has to do what his dad says, steal for him, perform in his circus, if Blitz jumps through the right hoops, maybe Cash will not be terrible to be around. But the problem that always arises with people like this is that there will always be another hoop, another condition that their loved ones will have to work for, leaving the people fighting to be seen to view themselves as insignificant and not worthy of love, even though the real reason is that their dad is an asshole, which is the exact situation Blitz finds himself in. Now full disclosure, we're still working with a lot of blanks here. How Blitz's career imploded, how he knows of Araska, what happened to his mother, a lot of information that would better inform why Blitz is the way that he is. But based on what we have right now, you can still see the origins for a lot of the reasons why he treats Luna the way that he does. Blitz knows his father was shitty and aspires to be better than him. While his dad was very conditional with his affections, Blitz makes a point of loving Luna unconditionally. Doesn't matter if she's bad at customer service, doesn't do her job, or shows up to work hungover, Blitz will love and defend her even when she's wrong. Blitz wants to be the dad that he never had, to not make the same mistakes that would leave his child feeling like they had to ever earn his love, which feels heartwarming. But this is the worrying, fucked up part. All of Blitz's actions are a reflection of his own trauma, rather than a reaction to Luna's needs. Luna was raised in a human-sized pound. They had already ridden her off, with her caretakers just leaving the kids alone to fight and attack each other without stepping in. There was no positive attention or reinforcement in this orphanage. It was just, look cute, hope you get adopted, and if not, we'll throw you out when you're 18. There's no extra attention being paid to the mental well-being of any of these kids. Luna is effectively a young Blitz, but without the years of being a performer to mask her pain or check her worst impulses. Blitz grew up with friends, so he actually learned how to socialize and interact with others, even when he doesn't want to. She cannot fake social interactions, she is always herself or puts up a hostile front. Luna was adopted by Blitz when she was almost 18, but within the four years that she's been out, she doesn't appear to have any friends. I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't have friends. Instead, just hanging around, surrounded by her dad's work colleagues. Luna definitely parties, but like most of the side characters in the show, we don't know much about her life outside of Blitz, who is doing his best, but in a lot of ways is not helping much. Like, Blitz wants to be a good dad. But the thing that screws him and Luna over 
is the fact that he is trying to be the dad he wanted, not the one Luna needs. And to just completely throw out the worst take, it feels like there's a good chance that Blitz would have loved any of the kids he adopted almost as much as he loves Luna. I say this because while he got lucky and found his mini-me, the thing that always makes me a little bit iffy, he did not decide to adopt to make someone's life better. Unless you count his. Blitz has spent his entire life desperately looking for someone to love. He didn't get it from his family, his partners, or his co-workers. So before he found an imp, Blitz effectively had no one. So he turned to adoption to finally get someone who he can love, and more importantly, would have to stick around. Building up this fantasy of having a family-friendly pup to take care of, only to adopt the much older Luna instead. He's overcompensating for his own sense of emptiness. It's why after being emotionally ripped to shreds by his date with Stolas, feeling at his most unlovable, he was knocking on Luna's door at 3am. Luna is his last lifeline, the only person he feels that he can turn to. As the Evnims, he isn't as nearly close as he would like to be. And besides them, there's no one else. I know what I said. So he clings to the idea of having this idealized father-daughter relationship. He desperately needs it, as he doesn't want to be alone, even as he pushes people away. Blitz is self-loathing incarnate. The man's house is covered in pictures of his friends and family, but he removes himself from all of them, like he's the thing that doesn't belong in these happy memories. Luna was adopted to be Blitz's emotional crutch, as he was, and still is, struggling in life. All this self-loathing, all this toxic behavior, he hates it, and he wants to be better, and thought being a dad would be his chance to do just that. This desperate desire to be a good dad, though, hinders him as much as it helps him. Luna appreciates Blitz. It is a good thing that he loves and defends Luna, as probably no one else has before. Is the kind of reassurance that someone as antisocial and defensive as Luna needs. That she, like Blitz, expects to be abandoned. And that behavior ultimately turns into a self-fulfilling prophecy. See exhibit A through C. Besides giving unconditional love, Blitz has been kind of floundering everywhere else. Blitz, like I said, has this idea of fatherhood that he has constructed. One that involves him taking care of a much younger child that's not the 22-year-old he actually has. Becoming overprotective at the drop of a hat, cock blocking his daughter, who was already doing a pretty good job of that herself. Like, it's never great, but you could understand this if Luna was an actual teenager. But Luna is 22, a baby adult. She has to have her own space to shoot her shot and miss. But instead, here Blitz ignores the obvious boundaries that Luna is trying to set so that he can fulfill this daddy fantasy bouncing around in his head. Luna appreciates Blitz, but that doesn't mean she's down for all this public affection presence and to have him be all up in her business. It's all overprotective dad things, but that's not what she needs. Blitz has to recognize that Luna isn't at the point where she's comfortable with that, or even grapple with the fact that she might not even need it. And to make this even worse, is Blitz constantly blurring the lines between work and family, to a point where they're basically the same thing. Stalking the M&Ms on their off time, fantasizing about having a three away with them, it's all less than professional. So even when he's trying to sound responsible, he needs Luna to focus on killing people to beat Veraska and save the parking space, it comes off as an excuse more than an actual argument to drag her away from her crush. These two have vastly different understandings and goals for their relationship. Luna likes Blitz, but she was almost 18 and was about to be all on her own. And she was resigned to that. She accepted and prided herself that she was able to survive what she did. So for Blitz to swoop in, to adopt her, and to try to act like everything is hunky-dory, I'm your dad now, is just a bit too much to swallow. To have this person come into her life and to immediately start trying to play the father figure is going to be grating, and it's going to have the opposite effect it's intended to have. So for Blitz to constantly interfere in her life is only going to contribute to him driving her away. Well-intentioned or not, she is not in a place where she can accept it. She's been through so much. Blitz is only aggravating the problem, especially when he's bouncing between hands-off, unconditional support and needy overprotector. He needs to accept Luna's boundaries and establish his own while still being supportive, making it so that eventually she'll warm up to him or mellow out. But right now, he's flip-flopping between the two. We see this lack of parenting skills in the latest episode, where his attempts to get Luna to get better at customer service ends with her throwing a fit and attacking him. Where Blitz really doesn't know what to do, because he is trying so hard to phrase this as nicely as possible. He got hit in the eye, and he immediately complimented her throwing ability. Like, he is trying to be as nice as physically possible, and he just ends up latching onto the first bad idea that he has. As he jumps to threatening to replace her, 
Now I don't have kids. I have never even adopted kids. But this feels like the thing that maybe you shouldn't do to a child you adopted and already has issues being treated like a replaceable commodity. Blitz regrets this hardly by the end of the thing, as he has a panic attack, realizes that he will never replace Luna, not even using it as an empty threat, while Luna alone with Octavia gets a better chance to process her own feelings, to be the people person that she really is, but she does suck at customer service, that is true. Talking it out with Octavia, where Luna gets to express her frustrations with her dad for ultimately giving them a pass, to realize that the problem that she was freaking out about isn't that big, while recognizing Blitz as a person has his own issues. He fucks up but he cares and he's trying, which means a lot to someone like Luna, even if he isn't the best at parenting. We talk, fuck! Oh, I mean, wow, a good throw, honey. I'm so proud of you! Might as well get my two cents about this. I'll take Luna beating the shit out of Blitz seriously as soon as the show decides to. Yes, it would be very concerning in real life to have a grown woman hitting her father, but this show is very big on cartoon violence comedy. Her wailing on Blitz, it's bad. It highlights the overreaction she's having, and the type of teen overreactions everyone fantasizes about having, so it roughly fits. I know this is hypocritical coming from me, the guy who made a diss track about Chowder, but I'm electing to not dig too deeply into this one, as it fits the scene, and this one butler keeps getting the shit beaten out of him. Until the show it decides that this is an issue it wants to take seriously, I won't. As brilliant as the creators are, sometimes shit just happens, and don't fully think through the optics. See that one time where the whole joke was about old people committing suicide. Or that one show where the kid is mentally 40 and dating a 15 year old. Sometimes you just have to preserve your sanity. And if anything, it plays into the show's general vibe of treating hellhounds as dogs or as people, depending on the situation. So in one moment, Luna is a traumatized young woman. Then other times, she's just the dog. Maybe they'll have something to say about this later, but my money is on it's just comedy that the show didn't think through. We'll just have to wait and find out though. What we don't have to wait for is the answer to is Blitz a bad father? He's not. He's scrambling to be the type of dad that he wanted, not the type that Luna needed. But he's trying. These two are both going through a lot, and while they aren't always handling things in the healthiest way possible, Luna and Blitz are way better off in each other's lives, and that counts for something. And yes, this title is too clickbaity, but no one's about to show up for Blitz, a flawed but well-intentioned father. I hate doing it. But this shit works. 